Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. Awesome, awesome car. Once in a while, a car comes along in some different colors that you don't see every day. Listen, man, I love Camaros. First off, this is a 69 Camaro, which is a spectacular car to begin with. But what makes it so cool and so different is the fact that it's a dust blue car with these great metallic silver stripes. And not only is it a great color combination, the blue and silver together, but they've done such a nice job, including painting the stripes and then clearing over everything. Meaning what they did was they painted the base coat of the car, got it all down and beautiful. They put just enough metallic into the dust blue paint to make it look good. Then they went ahead and uh, laid down the silver stripes on here. Great job too, you don't see any feathered edges or what have you, but what they did after that is they cleared the entire top of the car. And the reason that's important to you is because this is your baby, man. You're gonna be washing this thing, waxing this thing, making sure that everything on it is nice and shiny. So when you go out, people looking at that car going, wow, that guy is serious, he loves his car. So you're washing and waxing and these things here start to tear, they start to chip and start to fade. So by having the clear coat on top of it, this way you avoid all of those things. And the one thing important about a car too is the quality of the paint. You know, listen, anything in pictures and stuff like that's gonna look great. You know, people can uh, make pictures, they can Photoshop them, they can enhance them and things like that. But when it comes to video, video is you get what you see, you see what you get, and let's look at the good and the bad of everything on the car and see what we see here. So come on up here, this is important. I'd like to show the quality of paint first. Like this car here has been rubbed out professionally, wet sand and above, look how clear everything is in there. You can read it all crystal clear, you can see what time it is. Those are the kinds of things you need to be looking for. Listen, I'm on the internet looking at cars too sometimes. Uh, even though we get offered a lot of cars here, but you know, you guys are looking too and you're going to see a car and it's all going to look great, man, but you need to get the details of the car. We got this car from, uh, from a seller and still, he kind of told us it didn't really need anything. We ended up plowing $4,000 into the car to get it to the standards where we're happy and we can deliver the car to you. So uh, I want to show you a couple small things too that we added to the car, some details that we did to it and some things that you're getting with something like this in the 69 Camaro. So uh, anytime you reproduce one of these cars, you want to reproduce them right. You want to make sure that they get professionally done. And so what I like to do is I like to get in here and make sure that this is where some of this shines. So we went ahead and it had the wrong valve covers. It had uh, the wrong engine color paint. This wasn't all detailed, those kinds of things. So I had to order a few decals, which you don't arrive until tomorrow, but I didn't want to hold up the video. So I wanted to show you. This gets the 350 call out right here with the 300 horsepower and I had a new uh, uh, timing and emissions decal but it did not arrive in time and I didn't want to take it off and leave some residue but those two things will be replaced but look at the rest of the detail of what we've done in here uh, it's got ceramic coated headers on it uh, it's got power disc brakes which is a big thing that a lot of people forget to ask about it has a nice size radiator in here okay uh, to keep the car cool so you can drive this car in traffic it's got the cowl hood functional cal induction air cleaner, the thinned valve covers right there. Those are expensive valve covers. Those valve covers alone are 350 bucks. So, I mean, you can keep adding them. 350 for the valve covers, uh, 450 for a cal induction air cleaner, uh, the miscellaneous decals, somewhere between 700 and $1,000 just to detail the engine compartment, painting the block and the inner fenders and touching up this. Then we spend the money to make sure the turn signals and that kind of stuff works. And that's the kind of car that you're getting from us. So what the idea is that this car here would uh, pull up on the tractor trailer, right? And uh, everybody go, wow, what did Jimmy get? What did Jimmy get? And the tractor trailer's in front of your house and it backs out and the, this beautiful car on the elevator, it fires up and you go, wow, that is really nice handling. The oil's been changed on this car. The tire pressure has been checked. Uh, there's a temporary tag on the back of the car. There's, uh, what else we got? A gas in there. So all you need to do, man, is put the key in the car and go for a drive, all right? Anyway, so I think this is dressed nicely. I love BF Goodrich radial TAs. I love the idea of the rally wheels that are on there. And I love the fact that it's wet sanded all the way down. It's nice and shiny everywhere where you can still see the time down here. This is the kind of stuff that you guys should be looking for when you're on the internet, looking at these cars, man. I'm telling you, this is where you get taken. It looks shiny in pictures, but down here, you know, this is where people take the shortcuts and these are where the cars really, really rust. Trim and stainless on this car is very, very nice. And I like that. So let's keep walking around. The stripes look great. They come on down right here. It's got the SS call outs in back. It's got the right exhaust tips on it. New bumpers, new stainless trim back here as well. It's just really nicely done. And it sounds great when we fire it up. You're gonna go, whoa, this is really a nice car. And it's dusk blue, which is cool because it's not a red car or a black car, it's just a little different finally. Okay, come on up here. I wanna show you a little bit of detail stuff that, uh, that's important also. You say, well, what's the big deal? Well, I'll show you what the big deal is. Okay, 
Check this out for a second. It's a beautiful trunk pan, which is new in this car, right? Then it's spackle painted. New gaskets, okay? All painted and detailed in here. Got a couple more decals coming for the positive traction and what have you. It's just show that in there. Uh, I'm sorry, the jacking instructions. All the wiring is nicely done, it's hidden. It's just nicely done and all that, uh, like you can see the lights are working. You say, well, what's the big deal about the lights working? Well, the big deal about the lights working is nine times out of 10, they don't work. You know, 30 years later, 40 years later, you don't know how many hands have been under the hood or the dash or in here playing with the wiring. It could take us days to sort out the wiring, but I make sure that the turn signals work, the headlights work, like all those things that are important to uh, the drivability, the safety and things like that. So when you get this car, this is what you do. You put the key in, and you go for a drive. Okay, so let's uh, let's look in here. Now this is uh, what I like to say is a nicely done interior, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because in here are some things that dress it up and make it look really nice. I love the authenticity of this. Original style door panels and seat covers that match, right? It's got the console. These console gauges, you say, well, that's, that's nice, but that's not a big deal. Well, let me tell you, that is a big deal because it can be somewhere around $1,500 to install those gauges. It's got a factory tack. Well, you say, well, that's nice, it's got the factory tack, but what's the big deal? Well, add another, uh, you know, 600 bucks by the time you take the dash apart, put the new tachometer in, wire it to the distributor, get everything all sorted out. Uh, you have to buy a gas gauge so that you can move it down here because it would have been here. So there's a lot that goes into it. It's got the nice three-spoke wheel on it. So you got some great trim features and what have you, but you also have the ancillary gauges that make these things so nice inside. I love the console and I love the look of this wheel and this is the way I like to see uh, an interior done. Nice and stock, looks great and uh, what have you. But more importantly, I've rambled on about the, the great looks of the car, so how about I go ahead and start it for you. Gauges work nice, great oil pressure, check out the amp gauge is working beautifully. And let me just tell you, it's 105 out here today, it is hot as a mother. This thing fires up, it's running cool. The only thing not running cool right now is me. I'm sweating, man, sheep. All right, check out the sound of this thing. In closing up the video, you know, the restoration is important. This car is nicely restored, it looks great underneath. But at the end of the day, you can also drive this car. Sometimes these things are done so ridiculously well and they're so ridiculously expensive, you can't go anywhere in this car without fear of uh, a gnat that might hit the paint and put some gnat tracks in it and your $15,000 paint job is gone to hell. This looks just like that car, but the fact is you can drive it and have some awesome, awesome fun in it. Power disc brakes, four speed, all the gauges, the dust blue paint, silver stripes. I think it looks awesome. Anyway, call us 301. 816-1000, and we'll tell you all about it. Hey, I want to give a shout out to the McGlynn's, Doug and Ryan, who have just uh, purchased this awesome, awesome Camaro. I'm putting your sold sign on it for you, so that when it shows up at your house, look at this, huh? You guys are going to have an awesome, awesome time. And uh, listen, do me a favor, try not to rub it in your friends' faces when they see this and they hear it, because they're going to be jealous. At least take them for a ride, or at least let them wash and wax it for you, all right? Anyway, you guys have an awesome time with the cars. Thanks so much.